in my February Stitch Fix box, it was all about the tops. So I've got plenty of pants and jeans to work with, so let's go ahead and put together some fun outfits. Okay, so the first top is this one from Lush. It is the Warren Split Neck Blouse in the shade Light Green. It's $44, and I'm wearing it in a size large, and actually all of the tops that I'm trying on today are in a size large, so we'll see how that works out. Usually it's best for me just because of the bust area and this material not being quite as stretchy as a cotton t-shirt or something like that, so usually large is best. But anyways, this top, I really like the little leopard print on it. I like the V-neck, although it's a little bit too deep for me to wear to work just with the top on its own. So I'd probably pair it with a little black cami underneath, but it's not really a big deal. I would wear this on its own any other time, but just bending over working with kids. I want to make sure I'm all covered up. Um, the sleeves have a little button cuff, so they're not going to fall down throughout the day. It's got that nice tunic length, so a little bit longer in the back. It also has um, a little pleat in the back as well. So let me throw on some shoes and you can see what I've paired it with on the bottom. You probably already knew that I was going to do a front tuck if you've watched any of my other Stitch Fix unboxings before. It's one of my favorite ways to wear a blousey shirt like this, or quite frankly any shirt. But I have it paired with the Sophia Vergara jeans from Walmart. So they are the baggy boyfriend style. They're so comfortable and I love this wash. The shoes are also from Walmart. They're the Time and True brand. They're just a little pointed cheetah flat. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of mix the two animal prints together. And then for jewelry, I just have a simple silver hoop and then a silver bangle um, and gold bangle as well. Now, if you blinked too quickly, you might think that the last blouse is the same as this one, but there are some very slight differences. So this one is from the brand Fortune and Ivy. It is the Colin Mixed Material Blouse in the shade black and it is $44. So this one has a black background with that olive print. It's kind of got a little floral print on there. The V-neck is nice. I would not layer this with anything. I would feel very comfortable wearing this to work, bending over and doing all the things that I need to do. I like that it has these three little cute buttons here. I don't know if you'll be able to see them, but it's just three little buttons for some detail. And then the sleeves are really fun as well. They've got like a little keyhole sleeve and then a little tie on the end. Now, because this is a mixed material blouse, it has a solid back. So that is a black color, and it's kind of that soft jersey knit material. It's very stretchy and comfortable to wear. Blouse length is kind of like a high-low, just like the last one. Um, so let me go ahead and put on some shoes. With the jewelry, I've kept it all the same with this top because I want some of the other details to stand out. And then as for the jeans, I'm continuing with the black jeans. These ones are more of a solid black wash though, and these are from Stitch Fix. They're a high-waisted jean from the brand Just Black, and they've got the two cute little rips right at the knee. Of course, I will link it down below. And as you can see, I've paired it just with some nude ankle booties that have a little fringe on the back. You've seen them many times in my videos, but they are my trusty go-to shoes when I'm not quite sure what else to pair with an outfit. So I think that you could also wear some nude um, sandals or wedges if it was early spring. But for right now, I'm keeping it a little more towards the cooler winter time. With this pattern blouse, we are headed straight into springtime. So this one is from the brand Fun to Fun. It is the Walden Split Neck Blouse in the shade Light Green, and it's $38. This one is definitely a little bit scratchier than the other two blouses. They were very soft and smooth. This material just has a little bit more texture, but it's not so uncomfortable that I am immediately returning it. What I am most concerned about is the pattern. It's a beautiful floral print, but definitely a little bit bolder than I would go for or pick up off the rack. So it continues all the way down and on the back of the blouse. And like I said, colors are not an issue, it's just the pattern. But I think that if I had a nice lightweight cardigan to pair with it, it might help kind of tone that down and balance it out a little bit more. For the jewelry, I've done a little geometric drop earring. It's gold and it has some teal stones on it. And then I've also done a wrap bracelet that has some of those green, blue, and cream hues that are all in the blouse as well. I've done a light wash denim since we're heading into springtime and this top is definitely a spring top. And then I've just done some new wedges. So let me know what you think about the pattern on this blouse. Is it something that you would keep or maybe a little too bold? And the last two items in this box are actually the exact same style, but two different patterns and colors. So they're both from the brand 41 Hawthorne, both called the Bryson Pleat Detail Split Neck Blouse. 
but one is $60 and one is $58. So I have no idea what makes the $2 difference. You guys can figure that out for me. Now, I personally think that that's pretty expensive for a top. However, the nice thing about Stitch Fix is that they do offer a 25% discount if you purchase all of the items in a box. And in this case, on my little pricing sheet, that will cover, that discount will cover one of these blouses. So I don't know if that helps me out at all in my decision making because I really like both of them. So let's check them out. This is the first one. It is a teal color. It's got a royal blue pattern. The pleating runs all the way down the front and the v-neck is at a perfect length. There is a little pleating in the back as well so it's nice and flowy. The only thing that I don't like about this top and the same goes for the other one is that the armhole is slightly too low for me to wear with a regular bra. So I could fix that by wearing a cute little bralette, trying a different bra on, or even exchanging this for a medium to see if that would be a little bit better. But it's a common problem I have with tank tops and dresses as well. So I just find ways to work around it. And here it is in the red. So it has this pretty floral pattern that has magenta, teal, black, and white in it. And everything, like I said, is exactly the same, including the underarm area that's too big. And I forgot to mention that I'm not going to share the full head-to-toe look on these ones just because I've kept the same jeans on from this blouse. But I think that in the summertime, it would look, both of these tops would look great with a pair of white shorts or white denim jeans. But those are put away somewhere deep in the closet and they're not coming out for a while because it is still the end of February. So that is it for my February Stitch Fix box, and as always, all of the item information will be in the description box down below, along with a code for you to save $25 on your first Stitch Fix box if you have never tried it out before. I will definitely be back next month for more unboxing, but until then, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!